Okay, my beautiful Virgos, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you are new, my name's Leela. I reside in London, UK. And if you'd like to, in the comment section below, let me know where you reside. I'm always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. A big happy birthday from me to you. I'm also a Virgo. My birthday is on September the 13th. This is going to be a love reading. Of course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If you find something does, then please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. Shouts out to my returning subs and my moderators that go live with me. I truly appreciate you. So the first question that I always ask is, who is it that is thinking about you, darling? And define love as well. I could be talking about an ex-partner, an ex-spouse, ex-lover, a situationship. I could be talking about a family member, a friend. Okay. Mercury retrograde is coming tomorrow as well. Okay. Pay attention to that. And most certainly, because this is a love reading, pay attention to exes, ex situationships, and just keep it in the past. They will try to holler you. Don't pay them no mind, baby. That's what I say. Pay them no mind. Okay. And I'm talking from my own experience. Okay. 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 So the person that's thinking about you, four of wands, you know, I will just push it out there that some of you, this could be a twin flame that is currently thinking about you. You also got the eight of wands and the queen of cups. So whoever it is that's thinking about you, there's a whole lot of love here. There's a whole lot of intuitive energy. There is a whole lot of unconditional love. There is a whole lot of intuition here. Now, the four of wands talks about harmony. It talks about happiness, strong foundations. Whoever is thinking about you, I feel like, um, and of course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. I feel like for some of you, there is a person here that wants to contact you or communicate to you just how much you mean to them. And when I say just how much you mean to them, marriage is on the cards, living together is on the cards, true happiness. I think the person that's thinking about you finds you probably highly intuitive. You have an unconditional love about you. Yeah. The eight of wands is like travel. It talks about speed. It talks about good news. Okay. So again, there may be somebody here that is you know, trying or willing to communicate and tell you how much they really feel about you. I think that this person that's thinking about you wholeheartedly, whether they've explained it to you or not, communicated it to you or not, really does pick up on your loving energy, how much love you got to give and how much they adore you. Okay. Some of you are long-term that is how you're, you're being seen as somebody that is, you know, wifey, husband material. Whether they're going to let you know it or not. You know, I do pick up on some of you. They're definitely going to let you know that. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to the wanting. Okay. Define wanting. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Justice card here. Libra energy. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So. Hmm. The person that wants you, I mean, I do see children, whether they've explained that this person that wants you may want children with you. They want happy times. There has been or there is going to be happy times. There needs to be that the, there needs to be like a strike of balance here. You know, I feel like honesty is the best policy. So I do see um, maybe a conversation here where someone's quite blunt somebody wants to be treated fairly so whether it's and remember this is transferable energy this could be your energy towards them you want to be treated fairly you want someone to put in the hard work you want true happiness and of course we all deserve it so this person that wants you they could perhaps you this this could be what you want from them and this could be perhaps what they want to give you whether you're getting it or not you know and um yeah eight of pentacles this is somebody that works hard okay the person that wants you maybe they're willing to work hard maybe you're wanting them to work hard maybe that's what they like about you this person that wants you how much you're fair and honest how much love you've got to give and how much of a hard worker you are virgo okay let's just talk about some signs here as well so i, I do pick up on a fire sign for some of you guys sagittarius aries leo Libra energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and also Earth signs for some of you guys, okay? Which is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. 
Now, let's uh, talk about this person that truly loves you. Okay, that's the next question. Who is it that truly loves Virgo? We have the Seven of Wands. We have another Seven, the Cancer Energy, Chariot card here. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, some of you may be in an interracial connection, different complexions, different cultures, different religions, different lifestyles. This person that truly loves you wants, they're determined maybe to get you. They're determined for this to be a success. I love the seven of wands because for me, it's like protecting your peace, you know, um, and it could be there's outside influences, you know, like someone putting their two pence in or their opinion in. I feel like uh, this is also like a highly spiritual card. So it could be that the person that truly loves you is spiritual. They could see your spirituality and how spiritual you are, how successful you are, how successful they want this connection to be. They could be a successful person. But we have this eight of swords, okay? And, uh, you know, I'm not here to butter shit up. Eight of swords is an old way of living, it is, it can be quite a toxic mindset, unhealthy mindset, somebody being trapped by shit in the past, the ways that they've always lived, like they want to move forward, they want peace, but however, you know, <laughs> there is this unhealthy mindset, they are trapped, there's boundaries here, they feel stuck, stuck in their mind, it's almost like using past excuses in the now, okay? And, and it's about living in the present. And someone here is stuck in the past. Stuck in the past for whatever reason that may be. I think I'm going to get clarification for this Eight of Swords, actually. Why is the Eight of Swords here for the person that truly loves Virgo? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Wow, this is crazy. The Chariot card again cancer energy for some of you guys okay and, and with it coming out reversed you know i'll be honest with you this is somebody that's energy is quite scattered it could be like uh, they have the potential to be successful they have the potential to make this connection successful however the energy is all over the place it's almost like they've given up or they're giving up they're unsure and that king of cups in reverse talks to me like a drama you know, some sort of drama here, somebody that is easily triggered with their emotions, okay, somebody that can be childish, can be quite closed off, in the upright position, this is somebody that is very nurturing, very intelligent, very with it when it comes to their emotions, very loving, very emotionally intelligent, determined in life, and at times, I suppose we get we get stuck on default, right? So I feel like there there is a connection here where um, something came right. I'm sure you guys would tell me in the comment section below, but um, I feel like a scattered energy is here. Someone that is uh, probably stuck in the past, stuck in their mind, stuck on excuses, trapped by their own bullshit. I, I really don't feel like it's nothing to do with you. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You know, maybe they've been a player in the past. Maybe they've been emotionally immature, right? Jealousy is a key word with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it could be somebody that likes to... Uh, and you may have communicated that to them as well. In the upright position, this is somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve, okay? You guys could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, don't have to be. It could be somebody that dresses quite trendy, dresses quite young. Maybe that's what it is, stuck in their youth. Of course, it's not going to resonate with everybody. So I want to pick up on the energy that's coming towards Virgo in love. What is the energy coming towards Virgo in love? What is this that wants to come out? Oh, three of swords. Okay. It did come out reverse. So it's almost like, um, I want to say, you know, some Virgos are starting to see their value, starting to see their worth. Okay. From whatever heartbreak's gone on. Eight of cups. You see, I see a lot of you guys walking away from something here and stepping into your power, walking away from hurt, walking away from pain. 
good for you Virgo walking into maybe another emotional situation but definitely leaving one behind you know if <laughs> what what can I say five of one someone you know this is I think this is you guys trying to avoid drama maybe you're finding it hard to cooperate with somebody see eye to eye with somebody but I, I do feel like this is a lot of Virgos really wanting to um move away from drama move away from conflict arguments friction and uh look at this six of choice six of choice i mean six is um gemini energy the lover's energy healthy boundaries implementing healthy boundaries making a choice for yourself could be self-love this could have been a very powerful connection here okay an intense connection, soulmate, divine connection for some of you guys. However, Virgo, I feel like you just, you don't have the energy for any bullshit, anyone that's easily triggered, anyone that acts immature. I just saw 11-11. So I clearly know that some of you guys are on a twin flame journey here. And not everyone gets to um, even see their twin flame, live in a twin flame energy, two of cups. A mirroring of souls, what you give, I give. You give 10%, I'll give you 10%. You give 100%, I'll give you 100%. There is a soulmate connection. For some of you that are single, this this could be on the way, okay? But um, I know wholeheartedly someone adores you here. Someone really adores you, Virgo. It's um, I just feel like there's some work that needs to be done. Virgo ain't gonna stick around for the bullshit, you know. <laughs> Let's pull out some of these cards for the Virgo love reading. Anything that you guys want to confirm to us for this Virgo love reading, please do so now. Please remember, guys, you can book me for a personal reading. You can catch me for live tarot. Um, follow me on the socials, okay? We've got painful ending breakup. We have a soul tie lesson. We have Canada, Australia, England. I'm in England, darlings. Fancy a cup of tea, darlings. Virgo, just remember to be kind to yourself, yeah? If anything you take away from this reading, self-love is the best love. How are you going to love anybody if you can't love yourself? Um, some of you may be curvy for the women. Uh, for the men, you may be... A bit of a chubby chubs as well. And don't worry about it. Because a lot of women like like that. Big beautiful woman or man. Tall, handsome. Anything else for this love reading? Out of town. Wanted to come out there. I'm going to take all of this. Yeah, I actually mentioned this, didn't I? Triggered. Okay, someone's easily triggered. Valentine's February. Earth sign. Capricorn Virgo. Taurus, lonely, brunettes, 35 to 40 years old, the letters N, M, I, P and O, this could be a nickname, first name, a place, surname, take it as it resonates, alright, friggin love you guys, I'm out of here, be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound, take care my loves, Mwah.